A wise person once said, let people do what they want to do, so you see what they'd rather do, that will answer all the questions you have. This simple yet profound statement speaks volumes about human nature. Observing people's choices reveals their true priorities, desires, and intentions. This understanding encourages us to remain steadfast in our goodness, no matter how poorly others may treat us. Remember, their words and actions reflect who they are, not who you are. You can sleep with a peaceful mind, knowing you have not hurt anyone. Let us share something with you today that you may find both insightful and thought-provoking, especially if you've ever found yourself reflecting on relationships and the intricacies that shape them. Imagine for a moment that you're sitting in a quiet room, and we're here together, having a conversation, just you and us. The topic on our minds is something that touches many lives but is often spoken of in whispers or hushed tones, the subtle, yet profound ways in which women sometimes lose a good man, often without even realizing it. Now, before we dive deep, let's set the stage. Relationships, as we all know, are complex. They are a dance, a delicate balance of give and take, understanding and being understood. Yet, there's a common thread we've noticed in our years of practice, a pattern that repeats itself across different lives, different stories. And it begins with something as simple, and as complicated, as perception. You see, many women, in their pursuit of love and connection, are guided by certain expectations. Expectations, that while natural, can sometimes become a double-edged sword. There's a belief, perhaps cultivated by society, or maybe by past experiences, that love should look and feel a certain way. It should be grand, sweeping, full of obvious gestures and declarations. But here's where things often go astray, when these expectations aren't met in the way one hopes, it's easy to overlook the quiet, steady presence of a good man who, instead of grand gestures, offers something even more valuable, consistency, reliability, and deep respect. In our conversations with many, we've seen that it's not the absence of love or affection that leads to the loss of a good man but rather a misunderstanding of what love truly looks like. Some might mistake his calm demeanor for a lack of passion or his gentle support for weakness. Yet, these are the very qualities that often form the bedrock of a strong, enduring relationship. They are the quiet signals of someone who is in it for the long haul, who values depth over drama, and stability over fleeting excitement. There's another layer to this as well. We often notice that in the rush to find someone who meets every item on an ideal checklist, women might overlook the man who stands right before them, the one who may not be perfect, but is perfectly dedicated. In doing so, they miss the essence of what makes a relationship thrive, mutual respect, shared values, and the kind of love that grows steadily rather than burns out quickly. It's like planting a tree. The most important growth happens beneath the surface, in the roots that anchor it firmly in the ground. Let us talk about this, patience. It's something we see so often lacking in today's fast-paced world. Many women, in their understandable desire for connection, might rush through the initial stages of a relationship, expecting fireworks and constant thrill. But a good man, a truly good man, often builds his love slowly, thoughtfully. His love is like a seed that needs time to grow. It's patient, it's enduring. And sometimes, in the hurry to see the full bloom, that potential is lost before it has a chance to take root. 
Then there's the issue of communication, or rather, the lack of it. We've observed that many relationships falter not because of what is said, but because of what is left unsaid. A good man may not always vocalize his feelings in a way that is immediately understood. He may express his care through actions rather than words, through small, everyday gestures that quietly say, I'm here for you. But if those gestures go unnoticed or unappreciated, he may start to feel unseen, leading to a growing distance that could have been easily bridged with a bit more openness and understanding. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. Life has a way of favoring those who dare to take risks, who embrace the possibility of rejection, and who courageously move forward despite the uncertainties that might hold them back. Even the smallest gesture, like a smile, can create a ripple effect that touches someone else's life in ways you may never fully comprehend. It's important to remember that happiness isn't something we're born with, it's something we each have the power to create, one choice at a time, through our actions and mindset. In the context of relationships, this philosophy of taking initiative becomes even more critical. There are certain fundamental principles that serve as the bedrock of any strong partnership. These principles are simple in theory but profound in their impact, remain loyal, make your partner feel cherished, show respect, steer clear of inappropriate behavior with others, and carve out time for each other. These aren't just rules to follow, they are commitments that require consistent effort and genuine care. Loyalty goes beyond the physical, it's about emotional fidelity, staying true not just in action but in thought and intention as well. When we speak of making your partner feel cherished, we're talking about more than just expressing affection through words. It's about creating an environment where your partner feels valued and appreciated every day. It's in the small acts of kindness, the thoughtful gestures that show you truly care. Respect, on the other hand, is the cornerstone of any lasting relationship. It's about recognizing and honoring your partner's individuality, their opinions, and their personal boundaries. Even in moments of disagreement, respect ensures that the relationship remains grounded in mutual understanding and dignity. Let's consider the importance of avoiding inappropriate interactions with others. It might seem like a given, but it's worth reflecting on how easily this boundary can be crossed, even in subtle ways. Flirtation isn't always about what is said, often, it's about where your attention goes, what you allow yourself to entertain in your thoughts, and how you manage the energy you give to people outside of your relationship. It's about safeguarding the trust and intimacy that you and your partner share, ensuring that nothing comes between the two of you. And then there's the critical aspect of making time for each other. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to become consumed by work, responsibilities, and the endless distractions that life throws our way. But relationships thrive on connection, on the moments of togetherness that remind us why we chose each other in the first place. It's about being intentional with your time, making your relationship a priority even amidst the chaos. It's in these shared moments that the bond between you grows stronger, deeper, and more resilient. Time, as we often say, has a way of guiding our lives, introducing us to new people, and leading us down unexpected paths. But while time may decide who crosses our path, it's our heart that chooses who we want to keep in our lives. More importantly, it's our actions and behavior that determine who stays. 
This is where psychology offers us a deeper understanding. Women, in particular, often approach relationships with a nurturing instinct, similar to how they care for their children. This nurturing is not just an act, it's a deeply ingrained part of who they are, something that comes naturally as they care for and cultivate the relationships in their lives. Understanding this nurturing nature is essential for anyone who wishes to build a successful, fulfilling relationship. It's about recognizing the effort, love, and care that women often pour into their relationships, sometimes even at the expense of their own needs. It's also about acknowledging the responsibility that comes with being the recipient of such care. A relationship is a two-way street, one where both partners must contribute, support, and uplift each other. It's not just about what you can get out of the relationship, but about what you're willing to give. Communication is another cornerstone of a healthy relationship. But communication is more than just words, it's about truly listening, understanding, and responding with empathy. It's about creating a space where both partners feel safe to express their deepest thoughts, fears, and desires without fear of judgment. Communication is the lifeline that keeps a relationship thriving, allowing both partners to connect on a deeper level, share their inner worlds, and build a stronger bond. Trust is perhaps the most fragile yet essential element in any relationship. It's the foundation upon which all other aspects of the relationship are built. Trust isn't something that's given freely, it's earned through consistent actions, honesty, and transparency. It's about being reliable, dependable, and ensuring that your words align with your actions. Trust is what allows a relationship to weather the storms of life, providing a sense of security and stability that both partners can rely on. Empathy plays a vital role in nurturing a deep connection within a relationship. It's about putting yourself in your partner's shoes, seeing the world from their perspective, and responding with compassion and understanding. Empathy allows us to navigate the inevitable challenges that come with any relationship, helping us to respond to each other's needs with kindness and care. It's the glue that holds relationships together, fostering a sense of closeness and intimacy that can withstand the test of time. Compromise is another key element in any successful relationship. It's about finding a balance between two individuals, each with their own unique needs, desires, and perspectives. Compromise doesn't mean sacrificing what's important to you, but rather finding a middle ground where both partners feel respected and valued. It's about being willing to make adjustments for the sake of the relationship, understanding that sometimes it's more important to maintain harmony than to win an argument. At the heart of any relationship is love, a force that binds us together, inspires us to grow, and gives our lives meaning. But love is not just an emotion, it's a choice. It's something we must actively cultivate, nurture, and protect every day. Love is about showing up for each other, being there through the ups and downs, and committing to the relationship even when things get tough. It's about choosing each other, day after day, and working together to build a life that is full of joy, connection, and shared dreams. Let's talk about happiness. Happiness isn't something that just happens to us, it's something we create, both for ourselves and for our partners. It's about finding joy in the small moments, celebrating the victories, and choosing to focus on the positives rather than dwelling on the negatives. Happiness is a mindset, a way of approaching life that allows us to see the beauty in the everyday. And it's something we can cultivate in our relationships by being intentional, loving, and kind. 
When a woman gives herself to a man intimately, she places an immense level of trust in him. In those moments, she entrusts her very essence, her life, will, and body, to his care, allowing him to influence her in profound ways. This act of trust is why, when relationships come undone, the emotional impact on her can be overwhelming. It's not just about physical beauty or wealth, the pain comes from a deeper place. If her mind and heart aren't as beautiful as her outward appearance, she may not be the right person for you. Recognize this truth, and if you must, have the strength to walk away. There's a certain truth that people often come to realize your value only when they can't find someone to take your place. It's common for women to lose good men because they follow misguided advice from friends who themselves are single and perhaps embittered by their own experiences. Bad advice, often rooted in jealousy or misunderstanding, can easily lead to the downfall of a relationship that otherwise had potential. It's crucial to think deeply before allowing someone else's misguided opinions to influence your decisions. When navigating relationships, it's important to remember that advice from those who have never succeeded in love is often flawed. These individuals, though they may speak loudly and with authority, lack the experience necessary to offer truly valuable guidance. Why would you trust the counsel of someone who has never successfully navigated the intricacies of a loving partnership? Wisdom lies in recognizing the limitations of their knowledge and understanding that not every voice should guide your heart. Your relationship is a deeply personal and private bond, not something to be shaped by the whims of others. It doesn't need to adhere to societal norms or meet the expectations of onlookers. What truly matters is the connection you share with your partner, built on trust, respect, and mutual understanding. The opinions of others, no matter how well-meaning, are insignificant compared to the bond you've nurtured with your partner. It's not a collective endeavor, it's a sacred journey shared by two people. It's essential to protect the sanctity of your relationship by trusting your instincts and keeping external opinions at bay. Allowing outside influences to interfere only weakens the foundation of what you and your partner have built. Instead, focus on nurturing your relationship with the understanding that its true value lies in the bond you share, not in the approval of others. This perspective fosters a deeper, more enduring connection. In your pursuit of a meaningful relationship, it's vital to recognize the significance of emotional depth. Physical attractiveness or financial success may initially catch your attention, but it is the beauty of a person's mind and heart that sustains a relationship over time. When you find a woman who embodies these inner qualities, cherish her. If, however, you realize that these deeper traits are lacking, it's wiser to step away sooner rather than later to avoid future heartache. Walking away from a relationship that doesn't align with your values isn't an act of cowardice, it's an act of self-respect and wisdom. It takes courage to face the discomfort of ending something that seems promising on the surface but lacks the depth needed for a lasting connection. By doing so, you preserve your integrity and make room for connections that truly deserve your attention and energy. Reflect on why someone might struggle to replace you in their life. Often, it's not about the lack of alternatives but the unique qualities you bring to the table. When someone realizes that no one else can replicate what you offered, that's when your absence becomes truly felt. This highlights the importance of being true to yourself and maintaining the standards that define who you are. In relationships, we're often told to compromise or settle for less than we deserve. 
But, as a stoic psychologist, I remind you that true contentment comes from living in alignment with your values, not from seeking the approval of others. The right partner will appreciate you for who you are and will support your growth, not stifle it. Stay true to your principles, and you'll attract someone who values them as much as you do. A relationship should never be about controlling or changing the other person. Instead, it's about supporting each other's growth and journey toward self-fulfillment. When both partners bring their best selves to the relationship, it becomes a source of strength and resilience. A relationship built on mutual respect, shared values, and emotional depth will stand the test of time, while one founded on superficial attractions will likely falter at the first challenge. As you navigate the complexities of love, it's essential to keep in mind that the opinions of others are just that, opinions. They do not define the reality of your relationship, nor do they have the power to determine its course unless you let them. The true measure of a relationship's value lies in the joy, growth, and fulfillment it brings to you and your partner, not in the approval or disapproval of those outside it. When doubts arise, turn inward and examine the foundation of your relationship. Is it built on genuine love, respect, and a shared vision for the future? If so, let these pillars guide you through any challenges. If not, it may be time to reassess whether the relationship is truly serving your highest good. It's better to address these issues early on than to let them fester and grow into insurmountable problems. Always remember that a relationship is a living, evolving entity. It requires attention, care, and commitment from both partners to flourish. By focusing on nurturing the connection and honoring the bond you share, you can create a partnership that not only endures but also enriches your life in countless ways. It's this ongoing dedication that transforms a relationship from a mere connection into something truly extraordinary. Let this serve as a reminder that the strength of your relationship lies not in the opinions of others but in the trust, respect, and love that you and your partner cultivate together. In the end, it's these qualities that will determine the success and longevity of your bond, making it something that is truly unbreakable and irreplaceable. In the journey of love, remember to hold your relationship sacred and protect it from the undue influence of those who do not understand its true value. By doing so, you create a space where both you and your partner can thrive, growing together in mutual respect and admiration. This is the essence of a lasting, fulfilling partnership, and it's within your power to build and maintain it. To understand why many women lose good men, we must delve into the intricacies of how relationships are often approached and valued. A significant reason lies in the misalignment of priorities. Many women, and men alike, may enter relationships with a focus on external attributes, appearance, social status, or financial success, rather than on the deeper qualities that sustain a lasting bond. When the emphasis is placed on these superficial elements, the relationship becomes vulnerable to the shifting sands of time and circumstance. The essence of a meaningful relationship is found in shared values, emotional connection, and mutual respect, not in the fleeting allure of physical or material gain. Another crucial factor is the tendency to take a good man for granted. Often, when someone is consistently kind, patient, and understanding, their partner may begin to see these qualities as givens, rather than as rare and valuable traits. Over time, the appreciation that once fueled the relationship can fade into complacency. A good man, 
who offers stability and support, may not always be seen as exciting, but he brings something far more important, a sense of security and a deep, abiding love. When this is overlooked, and his efforts are not reciprocated or appreciated, it creates a silent erosion of the bond. Communication, or the lack thereof, plays a significant role in why many women lose good men. Misunderstandings, unspoken expectations, and unresolved conflicts can slowly eat away at the foundation of a relationship. When communication breaks down, it leads to frustration, resentment, and eventually, a disconnect that can be difficult to bridge. A good man often tries to communicate his feelings and concerns, but if his words are met with indifference or defensiveness, he may eventually withdraw, leaving the relationship vulnerable to collapse. Moreover, the influence of toxic advice cannot be underestimated. Women, just like men, are often surrounded by friends and family who offer well-meaning but ultimately harmful advice. These voices can encourage them to make decisions based on fear, pride, or societal expectations rather than on what truly matters in the relationship. The constant barrage of opinions, telling them they deserve more, should never settle, or need to be more independent, can create unrealistic standards and foster dissatisfaction. A good man may be lost in the process as his efforts to build a genuine connection are overshadowed by these external pressures. A lack of emotional intelligence is another reason many women lose good men. Emotional intelligence involves the ability to understand, manage, and express emotions in healthy ways. It's about being able to empathize with your partner, to see things from their perspective, and to respond to their needs with care and consideration. When this skill is lacking, misunderstandings and conflicts are more likely to arise. A good man values emotional connection and seeks a partner who can engage with him on that level. When emotional intelligence is absent, the relationship may suffer, leading to a gradual disengagement. The fear of vulnerability is another contributing factor. To love deeply requires a willingness to be vulnerable, to open up and share one's innermost thoughts, fears, and desires. However, many women may struggle with this, fearing that showing vulnerability will make them appear weak or unworthy. This fear can lead to emotional walls being built preventing the relationship from reaching its full potential. A good man, who seeks a deep and meaningful connection, may find himself pushed away, unable to break through these barriers. Commitment phobia also plays a role in the loss of a good man. In a world where options seem endless, and the fear of missing out is pervasive, the idea of fully committing to one person can be daunting. Some women may hesitate to commit, fearing that they'll lose their independence or that someone better might come along. This hesitation can create uncertainty in the relationship, causing a good man to feel undervalued and eventually leading him to seek stability elsewhere. In addition, the desire for constant excitement can lead to the loss of a good man. Many women may seek relationships that are thrilling and filled with passion, mistaking this for true love. However, real love often grows in the quiet moments, in the steady presence of a partner who shows up every day, even when life isn't exciting. When the thrill wears off, some women may start to believe that the relationship has lost its spark, not realizing that the foundation of a lasting bond is built on consistency and mutual support. A good man, who may not always be the most thrilling but is reliable and devoted, may be left behind in the search for an elusive excitement. 
Furthermore, unrealistic expectations can be a major pitfall. Influenced by romanticized portrayals of love in media, many women may expect their relationships to be perfect, without conflict or struggle. When reality doesn't match these expectations, they may become disillusioned, seeing their partner's flaws as deal-breakers rather than opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. A good man, who is willing to work through challenges and grow together, may be unfairly judged and ultimately lost because he doesn't meet an idealized standard. Another reason women lose good men is the failure to recognize and appreciate the small, everyday gestures of love. Often, love is expressed not in grand, sweeping gestures but in the little things, a kind word, a thoughtful act, a quiet moment of support. When these moments are overlooked or taken for granted, the cumulative effect can be a sense of being unappreciated. A good man, who consistently shows his love through these small acts, may feel undervalued if his efforts go unnoticed, leading him to withdraw emotionally or leave the relationship altogether. Additionally, the inability to let go of past hurts can poison a relationship. Holding on to old grievances, whether from past relationships or even from childhood, can create a barrier to forming a healthy, trusting connection. A good man may find himself constantly trying to prove his worth, fighting against the ghosts of past wrongs that have nothing to do with him. If a woman cannot move past her previous pain, she may unintentionally sabotage a relationship with someone who genuinely cares for her, losing him in the process. The pursuit of perfection is another trap that can lead to the loss of a good man. In an effort to achieve an idealized version of love, some women may place impossible demands on their partner, expecting him to be flawless in every aspect. This pursuit often leads to disappointment, as no one can live up to such expectations. A good man, who is flawed but sincere in his efforts to love and support his partner, may find himself unfairly criticized or undervalued, eventually leading to the dissolution of the relationship. Lastly, the refusal to grow together is a common reason women lose good men. Relationships require continuous effort, adaptation, and growth from both partners. When one person resists change or refuses to grow with the relationship, it creates an imbalance. A good man, who is committed to personal growth and the evolution of the relationship, may feel stifled if his partner is unwilling to embrace change. This stagnation can lead to frustration and, eventually, the end of the relationship. In conclusion, the loss of a good man often stems from a combination of factors, misaligned priorities, lack of appreciation, poor communication, external influences, and a fear of vulnerability, among others. To avoid these pitfalls, it's essential to cultivate self-awareness, emotional intelligence, and a deep appreciation for the qualities that truly matter in a relationship. As we draw everything together, it's clear that the reasons why many women lose a good man are rooted in a complex web of factors. These aren't just surface-level issues, they run deep, touching on emotional intelligence, communication, and the sometimes overlooked aspects of human connection. It's important to remember that relationships are not about perfection, they're about connection, growth, and the mutual effort to build something lasting. When we get caught up in the superficial, when we forget to appreciate the quiet, everyday gestures of love, or when we let external voices drown out our own, we risk losing something truly valuable. What often goes unnoticed is that good men, the ones who are steady, reliable, and deeply caring, 
are not always the loudest or the most outwardly exciting. They're the ones who show their love through consistency, through the small, meaningful actions that might not always make your heart race, but that create a foundation of trust and security. It's easy to overlook these men in a world that often glorifies the flashy and the dramatic, but it's worth recognizing that the most enduring love often grows in the quiet spaces of everyday life. If there's one takeaway from this, it's that relationships require more than just attraction or excitement, they require understanding, patience, and a willingness to see and value your partner for who they truly are. The ability to appreciate the little things, to communicate openly and honestly, and to grow together as individuals are all essential in sustaining a healthy, fulfilling relationship. It's not about finding someone who checks every box on a list of ideal traits, but about building a life together with someone who genuinely cares for you and is committed to growing alongside you. So, the next time you find yourself in a relationship, or even just considering what you want from one, take a moment to reflect on these deeper elements. Ask yourself whether you're focusing on what truly matters, whether you're appreciating your partner's unique qualities, and whether you're putting in the effort to nurture the connection you share. Because in the end, it's not about perfection or living up to some idealized standard, it's about finding someone who makes you feel seen, valued, and loved, and who you can grow with over time. Remember, losing a good man often isn't about the big, obvious mistakes, it's about the small, gradual shifts that happen when we take love for granted or allow external pressures to influence our hearts. But the good news is that by being mindful, by valuing the right things, and by approaching relationships with openness and honesty, you can create a bond that's not only strong and resilient but also deeply rewarding. And that, in the grand scheme of things, is what truly matters.